All right, so this is another uh, in instance of where I did the machine simulator version. Uh, this is actually, I built this off of version machine simulator version three. Now this, I've moved it to version 4.2. Um, this is a palletizer. And what it does is it's gonna push the boxes on the, the actual pallet. And it's gonna create that, that size. So there's two different forms it's gonna create. It does have a start, put, start, stop, push button down here. It has the e-stop button. If you hit the e-stop, it's gonna flash. So it's gonna flash the, the red light to let you know the e-stop is hit. Um, I did make it an estate machine because I was trying to, you know, kind of challenge myself. But you see, it does change the orientation of the boxes because if you palletize a box and it's the same orientation, obviously they're gonna fall at this, you know, a certain point, right? They're not gonna stay put together. And it's not even going to get to a point where you can go to a, sh a shrink wrapper or whatever the case may be because it just it doesn't have the structure behind it so every other layer has to be structured different and what the way i built this is again an estate machine this is very simple um, i count layers uh here on on actually state 30 and this is counting the layers and then it pushes right so it's counting you know how many straight pushes has has to happen how many side how many you know it basically comes in here you got side layers um, come in here and you can tell what happens uh, the reason I, I bring this up and the reason I'm, I'm showing videos like this now is because I want you guys to understand I've been pushing this on people for a long time to 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 get have a tool to better themselves this tool machine simulator is so much better is cheaper than factory talk or factory IO um, by far it's a better software it just fits better it's easier i always get the usb license so i can take the license out take the usb and put it in any computer i'm, I'm using and i can continue with the process right there i always have it so i have a movable a movable license you can't do that with the other one but here's why i'm, I'm pushing having a software like this is because you need to challenge yourself every day we we get complacent where we are right in our jobs we get complacent and we stop really trying to challenge ourselves and we get used to the everyday monotonous task of what we're doing and even though we may be really really good at that task you need to push yourself because you don't know what the future holds a company could restructure your job might not be valid anymore you might have to go get a new job you might you might be trying you might be trying to get into the field yourself and you need to learn so this is great for beginners but it's also, again, great for the seasoned vets that need to sharpen their tools. <clears throat> because when it comes down to it, if you don't have, if you can't prove your value, if you don't, the more value you have, the more valuable you are to a company. And if the company can't see that value or if they change the way they operate and your job's no longer there, you're going to have to find a new job. And if you have these, this type of experience where you can, easily train you know change the train of thought you go from a troubleshooter to a, a, a logical thinker and a programmer to back to a troubleshooter and back and forth and understand how to read a program back to back and just like a book all the programming is is just like a book but when it comes down to it you know it really is important <clears throat> to always strive to better yourself i don't care what I, whatever you're doing you know i've, I've went from you know, from doing just standard programming, learning how to program, to actually building stuff, to programming myself. I have my own business, so I program other stuff. And my customers want something different every time. So I have to sharpen my tools all the time. But when it comes down to that, if you're a, a maintenance technician, and maintenance technicians these days are required to learn PLCs, they're required to troubleshoot PLCs. And in most tasks, they're required to make changes to the PLC to make the machine better. So it's maintenance task is not like it used to be, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. It's progressively getting better and it's progressively getting more demanding. So you have to really kind of challenge yourself. You have to really kind of use, and you have to have tools like this to, to do that. And yes, I do program this on my own at home without nobody telling me what to do. Because again, when it comes out to it, if you can do something behind closed doors with nobody watching and you do it well, then when somebody is watching 
and it your neck's on the line or let's just say you're the person responsible you have a more sense of confidence you have that that ease of oh well i've done i've been here before i know how to do this i don't have to worry about what am i going to do right or do i need to call tech support which you, honestly when you call tech support you're going to be hit or miss anyway in any company now i'm not knocking rockwell i'm not knocking anybody with any company you're going to be hit or miss you might get a great person and you might not you might get the beginner but when it comes down to it if the point i'm trying to make here is with the things that are changing in this we need strong and really if i can phrase this properly we need really really talented programmers we need really talented troubleshooters and we need talented uh, maintenance technicians and again that role is changing that role is moving the maintenance technician role at least in the, the paper industry and other industries like that has is really the maintenance technician role is replacing the engineer the engineer in turn is is ended up being like a like a project person they're not necessarily being you know the the go-to person when something breaks or go, the go-to person when something's not doing what it's supposed to be doing so with that said i'm just trying to empower you guys on how to do something and try to really push yourself and, and become better um it's up to you to do it i mean it's there's nobody in the world going to tell you to do something and you're going to just do it until the pain of change is less than the pain of staying the same you're not going to change unless you have that drive in you and you need to think about it like this if i'm in a current role and i'm in a current position that role might not be there in a year two years 10 years 20 years you might not have you might have to change jobs you might have to retool yourself you may have to 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 become better just to show people who you are and then when you show people who you are, the more valuable you are, the less likelihood of you having to change jobs it, that's going to be. And even if you do, they're going to be the ones missing that talent. They're going to be the ones missing you. You're not going to be missing where they you used to work. You know what I mean? You probably miss the people you used to work around, but you're not going to be the one. They're going to be missing you because they missing, they're missing that talent. And you're going to be at somewhere else and probably the most likely when one door shuts another door opens and you have to have that opportunity you have to be what i what i like to call is you have to stay ready instead of having to get ready and this is what i do this is one of the tools that i use to do that and like i said i've been pushing it for a while um <clears throat> just to, to to show people what i do to retool myself but the more I, i'm making this video to, to really stress why do i do that not that you you know you can choose not to do whatever and you can choose to 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 just you know continue on your beaten path but when things change and you're worried and you know you really need the the skills well i mean you got to work on yourself daily that's what it takes not one of us comes out the box knowing everything and the more confident you are with what you do the better you will be that that's one thing i can promise you and you want to be confident in what you do so with that said hope you guys learned a lot from this video and we'll see you guys on the next one